Right, I'm not one for doing uh, <coughs> fix-its on YouTube, but I just want to help you out. Hopefully this will. <coughs> right, I've got a photon mono and a cubic. Just recently purchased an Anycubic photo photon M3 with a photo and photon M3 M3. I've had nothing but print problems, support failing, the actual models not printing fully. This is where the ear is supposed to be on the left. It's not printed that. It's got a whopping crack there which I'm going to have to call body fill. Printed the right ear fine, face is all fine. Uh, them sticking to the bed. Uh, just that, all you know, over and over again. I think he had two successful prints out of maybe seven or eight. Uh, I'd just about given up with it. I tried leveling the bed. Uh, changed the FEP sheet. And while we're on that subject, the FEP sheets on these come with these gaskets, well gasket, and it's all one thing with the FEP sheet in it. But I split it apart with a Stanley knife, and if you do it, I suggest you do it really carefully so you don't break them, okay? Because if you want to buy a new FEP sheet for the M3, you've got to buy the whole thing, including the FEP sheet. These are meant to be disposable. Well, just for two of those with FEP sheets, from what I found, with £29, I thought, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. So, like I said, I split. This is off the um, Photo Mono. Split it in two. Did the same with the Fo uh, M3 as well. Um, brought FEP sheets separately. It's been... It, it went together. I've got no problem with the Photo Mono. So, <coughs> anyway, moving on. All these felt prints weren't even printing the support fully. Uh, missing parts on the actual print file. Drove me absolutely crazy. Uh, yesterday, I was printing. I was getting, per usual, it, the um, support was fine on the bed. The, you know, the first lot of support, that was fine. But then the actual print was hanging off the support after that I thought oh I'll give up so I thought right one more try blow out the USB port with the compressor put the same file on two USB sticks just in case it's one that's dodgy but I had one more thought I've been using Voxlab resin on the photo mono just standard resin absolutely fine on the photo mono so, what have I got to lose? Try the Anacubic. So anyway, I, I set the print off with the Anacubic resin in there. All the support was fine. The print file was perfect. So I thought, okay, is it to do with the resin? Or is it to do with... The USB stick on the second USB stick I'd put the same print file but another file with it you know just to make sure it wants a fluke printed it absolutely fine all the support fine oh I, I, just, I couldn't believe that it's, it, it actually worked and it wasn't a fluke touch wood <laughs> because I'm pretty pessimistic it doesn't happen again so when I get some more clear resin, I'll get back to you at some point. Uh, try a different file. I've already tried two different ones and they obviously, like I said, they're fine. And if that works, I'll let you know. So hopefully this will, if it's worked for me, it'll work for you. But you would think that one anacubic printer, will, if it likes the resin it's using and has no problems with it, the second anacubic printer even though it's a different model would be fine with the same resin but obviously not anyway i hope this has helped you uh i've spent weeks trying to figure it out last night bingo 
Thanks for watching. Oh, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah.